I think that's what I have talked about for the last few minutes. You know, uh, I don't mean to be facetious, but when we say, why do we need responsible leadership? I could turn around and say, because we don't want irresponsible leadership. Um, you know, that's primarily why we want responsible leadership. And, you know, we keep thinking about the role that organizations have to play. And I do believe organizations have to play a critical role in defining the parameters of leadership, in rewarding the right kind of leadership behaviors, in penalizing the wrong kind of leadership behaviors. Because on the one hand, organizations keep talking about how engaged people are. You know, think about all the things that organizations do. We spend a lot of time uh, doing surveys with Gallup to see engagement stores, great places to work, uh, what is the NPS score, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas our own data should be telling us how engaged people are. You know, whether you look at how many people want to join the organization, attrition rates, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it is time for everybody to stop and say, if people is really the differentiating factor in the performance in any organization, and I do believe it is, because it is the people who determine the quality of thought. It is the people who determine the quality of action. Without people, there is no organization. So if we say that people are the key asset and everything actually begins and ends with people, not with CapEx, not with artificial intelligence, not with any of those things, then we have to say, who are the people who are spending time on fostering those kinds of leadership behaviors? I, in all my working life, have said HR is not responsible for people. People are responsible for people. HR is responsible for making sure that, you know, all the, uh, the administrative processes, et cetera, et cetera, are in place. But if I am leading a group of people, uh, then I am responsible for those people. HR is not responsible for those people. So one of the other qualities of leadership is the quality to be a good listener. It is the, also the quality to be an empathetic listener, which is really to say that when people we are working with come to us with ideas, how do we react to those ideas? Do we shoot them down or do we encourage those people? How do we deal with diversity of views? How do I deal with you if you come and tell me something which is exactly the opposite of what I believe it should be and I just happen to be your manager? You know, do we, uh, are we welcoming of dissent? Are we welcoming of diversity? And, you know, these are things that have to be reflected on. They have to then not be in you know the vision mission value statement of the company that goes on the website and then nobody talks about it unless we actually see values in action very little is going to change and that is the responsibility of leadership